y'all guess what i am sarah is back y'all brand new with so many improvements and updates i am so excited to share my name is Latoya and I am the multifaceted mom. I talk about mental health, lifestyle, and everything under the sun pretty much, especially motherhood. Um, so today I'm really excited to talk about my nonprofit organization called I Am Sarah. Uh, full of name is I Am Sarah Maternal Mental Health Care. And what we really focus on is women who have gone through pregnancy loss as well as pregnancy after loss. Now, these two things are definitely close to my heart um, because I suffer a miscarriage, two miscarriages, as well as pregnancy after loss and a whole array of perinatal issues. Um, and if you don't know, I am in school to become a perinatal therapist because through creating my nonprofit, in 2020 i also found that i wanted to be a resource for other women uh, going through these type of issues so i am sarah maternal mental health care is an organization that pretty much helps women find those mental health resources to get through pregnancy after loss as well as miscarriage infant loss and stillbirth so some of the things that the way So the way I Am Sarah started was I Am Sarah started when I was about three, four months postpartum and I literally, God brought this to me in the middle of the night. It came um, alongside of a book as well that I wanted to do called Dear Sarah, which is available now um, on Amazon. It's an anthology that focuses on different women in the different paths that they took and that they went on um through their miscarriage journey or pregnancy after loss um my story is definitely one that talks about having my rainbow baby um as well as the the miscarriage and the depression and anxiety that i had after um so this is definitely very close to my heart uh, some of the changes that will be made for I Am Sarah. Um, originally, I Am Sarah really just started off as a organization that was going to bridge the gap between mental health resources and women that went through infertility um, as well as miscarriage. However, I felt like we are missing a piece of the pie because a lot of the times when you go through pregnancy loss, people just think that it's over um after you get pregnant and have your baby like yay you know it's over but it's it's really not because when you are pregnant after having a miscarriage what comes after that is being scared to wipe uh what comes after that is being scared to use the bathroom at all you don't even want to go to the bathroom because you just you're extremely anxious. You're scared to see that blood. You're scared to what if something is happening. Um, certain things like the cramping that's normal within the first trimester isn't our normal. It's completely different because we are terrified that this cramping could either mean that things are going right or things are going wrong. And I feel like a lot of times we forget that pretty much during a pregnancy after loss, you are holding your breath until you reach a certain time. And let me just say that second trimester is other is safe, but things can happen in the second trimester. It can happen in the third trimester. It can literally happen as soon as you give birth. Like it's so many things that happen with women and uh, even postpartum for me, um, the things that I dealt with postpartum as far as not being able to nurse my my baby, uh, Lori, it just triggered so many things for me. It triggered that failure, that feeling. Um, you know, that when I got, when I went through postpartum with Lori, um, I was triggered because when I wasn't able to nurse, I felt like a failure. I felt like my body was failing me. 
I felt it triggered all of these feelings all over again. And I think that's what's not talked about within uh, this community, within, um, or it, it's talked about within this community. However, outside of this, our family and friends are just so unaware that yes, we have our happy ending, but our happy ending is looking so different to us. We're extremely tired. We're extremely scared. We are nervous. We're we're not complaining. Hell, we feel like we don't even have uh, the space to complain about morning sickness or whatever because we just want to be thankful that the baby is safe. Um, so our pregnancies are so different. Um, and miscarriage is just so not talked about enough. Um, to be honest, a lot of the things that I wanted to do with I Am Sarah in the beginning was just spread awareness. However, I think it's so much advocacy that's needed for this community, for women that go through miscarriage, for women that go through pregnancy after miscarriage. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys on some of the things that I've done and I've changed and things that are going to be being implemented in 2023. Um, and it's much more, but I'm just really excited for these three things. Um, one, I brought on board members. I definitely think that where I am Sarah is going is going to a, I wanted to make a huge impact. And if that means starting in Michigan and expanding, if that means starting nationally and expanding, I really want to make an impact on people's lives. So I felt like I could not do that without bringing team members on. And the things that I love about the girls that I brought on is that they've experienced everything that I Am Sarah has to stand for. They believe in a mission. Um, if you uh, want to meet them, definitely go on our website, IamSarahMMHC.com to meet who they are um but i'm very happy that i brought them on and we're gonna take i am sarah to the next level uh secondly um i will be or i am sarah will be offering um meditation and journaling sessions every third saturday as well as emailing you um prompts and meditations as well as journaling prompts uh, freebies in an email so make sure you just subscribe to our emails um and this is exciting because i wanted to interact i was thinking like how can i not only post social media yes social media is a great way to spread awareness and to build that community but how can i go a step further um and i really want to hold myself accountable as well as hold others accountable for their healing journey because the thing is, when you get pregnant, um, again, after your miscarriage, um, if you are having recurrent miscarriages like I had, it's really important to get grounded in yourself. It's really important to get grounded in God. And if you didn't know, I Am Sarah is based on a, it's a, it's a Christian organization. So, um, and four, oh, no, no, three. And three, um, another thing that we're going to be offering is quarterly care crates. So originally I wanted to make care packages that people can purchase for other people. However, what I want to do is I want to get company sponsorships. My goal is to really spread awareness through company sponsorships, through, um, uh, people donating for this cause. Um, and I want people to be able to submit names, addresses, email addresses, or really just contact information in general for people who have went through a miscarriage, people who are pregnant after a miss, after a pregnancy loss. And I am Sarah will be able to provide an extra little gift. Um, if that is an e-gift or if that is a mailing gift, um, depending on the funds that we have at our disposal. Uh, and I'm really excited about this because it really takes the, the sales out of it. Like, I don't want it to be a salesy thing. I want it to be a giving thing. I want to help this community um, because it's so close to my heart. I literally look at my babies and just be like, wow, I remember praying for you. I really remember saying, like, God, please just let me meet this person. And it's just the fact that I'm here and I just, 
it's, it's just so, I don't know how other moms feel who haven't had a miscarriage, but it just is that extra, like, oomph <laughs> and gratefulness. Um, and I just really just want to make other moms and people, because you are a mom as soon as you get a pregnancy test, whether you have a miscarriage or not, as soon as you get a yes on a pregnancy test, you are a mom, period. Um, and I want to make moms feel special. So, and my third and final, or my fourth and final thing, which I am so happy about y'all. This is like one of the biggest missions that I have took on, but I want to raise $5,000 for the year of 2023 to fund a mental health fund. With this fund, it will sponsor a woman's or family's therapy sessions um, for a certain amount of time. I haven't decided yet, depending on how much we raise, depending on who the therapist is. Um, and also, it's different factors that go into it um, that will determine the longevity and the duration of the therapy sessions. But this is really what I Am Sarah is about. It's about helping women mentally cope with mis uh, miscarriage and pregnancy after loss. Um, and one of my long-term goals this year, which will be a part of the advocacy for I Am Sarah, is to improve hospital care for women who go through pregnancy loss and pregnancy after loss. And this is going to be a huge mission for me. This is our long-term goal. But right now, I am so excited to... I am so excited to bring on these new changes for I Am Sarah because it's all about change. It's all about influence. It's all about awareness. It's all about making a difference in somebody else's life. And that is what I Am Sarah Maternal Mental Health Care is for. So if you are not already, definitely like and subscribe and share this video. Definitely visit our website, I Am Sarah mmhc.com to subscribe to the email list, put the meditations and journaling sessions on your calendar. Um, they will take place every third Saturday in the morning time. Um, so yes, I'm so excited. Um, please let me know what else do you guys need from me? If you are a part of this community, if you know somebody who's a part of this community, let me know what you need from I Am Sarah um, because I would love to incorporate those needs and desires into the organization and just let us know how we can better serve you. That's all. See you.